Okay, so you ever wonder when you go on an e-commerce website, they load really fast, even when they have so many visitors on their website. And your website with best hosting, best plugin, best themes, always slow. So today we're going to cover a technique by implementing that, which is Redis Cache. You can also make your website really fast. Especially this is helpful for dynamic websites and e-commerce website. So as you already know, if you watched my other tutorials, how we implemented page cache, but page cache is limited only for the static contents. Redis Cache comes when it is about database caching. So today I'm going to tell you what is Redis Cache and how you can implement it on your website. So I created this graphics. This is how your website works without database caching. So when somebody open your website in their browser, okay, and they make a request and then you have some code on the website, what this code does. And for example, let's say this process takes three seconds and your database is on disk. This is like a hard drive in your computer. For those who don't know, server is also like a computer. It got RAM, it got hard drive. Server is a powerful computer. It is same like your computer, but different kind of specifications and different kind of operating system. So as you can see, when somebody requested your website, the code and database, it takes three seconds to process everything and then it give back the response to the user. And this is without database caching. And what happens with database caching? Right now, we are not talking about the Redis cache. So when somebody open your website, the code processes this thing. And instead of asking everything from the huge database, there's a small database created, which is called database cache. And this code collects the general data from this database. And because this is cache of the database with the common operations, with the common data. So this process takes less time instead of fetching all the data from the huge database for common operations. For example, when somebody visits your website, there's a list of all the categories and products. Instead of getting these categories and all the products from the big database, it fetched from this database cache, which is a very, very small database on your disk. Okay, sounds good. Let's say the time now is 1.5 seconds, but let's see now what Redis cache does. So I created this another interesting graphics. Let me know if you like this kind of graphics content on the channel. Is it easy for you to understand or not? Let me know in comments. Okay, so as you saw, somebody opened the website, the code request with the database cache and it was 1.5 seconds. But what happens when you install the Redis cache, it created a copy of this cache on RAM. Yes, server also got RAM so, and RAM is really fast in comparison to database. So what happens when you install Redis cache, instead of taking all this data from this disk, SSD or hard drive, it takes from the RAM. It works same like it works in our computer. For example, if you have a computer which got 8 GB or 16 GB of RAM, and then you have 1 TB of hard drive. So RAM is a fast memory, but the problem with RAM is it cannot hold so much of data. So we cannot store all the data on the RAM, but yes, we can store some common data, which is requested by user frequently on RAM. Okay, so yes, we have page caching. This is a separate topic, but we are talking about database caching for dynamic contents. So when you have Redis cache enabled, what happens instead of taking all the data from this database cache from here, it takes from the RAM. So this all happens on the disk and this happens on the RAM. And for example, let's say it's 0.3 seconds. So it significantly improves your website speed, especially for dynamic websites and backend of the websites. Okay, so now I hope you understand that what is Redis Cache and how it works. Let's see how you can enable Redis Cache on your website and take most benefit out of it. And if you face some problem to understanding this, let me know in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you out. Okay, so to enable Redis Cache on your website, what you need to do is you need to go to your cPanel or any other panel provided by your host. And then you need to search the PHP configuration. So this is, I'm showing example of Edu hosting, and then I'm going to show you example of Cloudways. but overall is the same concept in any kind of hosting. You need to search for this option. So I'll search for PHP and then I find this option, select PHP version. And then when I scroll the page, you can see this Redis option and it is enabled on my server. If it is not enabled or you cannot find simply contact your host, if they provide the solution, they're going to enable this for you or they're going to tell you how you can enable Redis Cache. Okay, let's see on Cloudways how you can do this. So in Cloudways, go to your server and then go to settings and packages. And then under the packages, you'll find this option Redis. Right now, I already installed it. So that's why we see this sign uninstall. But in your case, you will see the option install. So far, so good. So now we know how to enable Redis Cache. Now let's see how we can use it on a WordPress website. In order to use Redis Cache on your WordPress website, you need a cache plugin. If you're using a plugin like Lightspeed Cache or W3 Total Cache or Breeze Cache provided by Cloudways, you will have this option to see if you have Redis enabled on your website or not. And you can choose to use this option to increase your website speed. So if you're using Lightspeed Cache, you need to go to Object Cache 
and then under object cache you can see the status in my case i have redis extension enabled i just show you how you can enable this option so what you need to do is click on object cache on and that's it you're ready to take benefit of redis cache on your wordpress website if you're using a plugin like w3 total cache you can go to general settings and under that you can find this option this option is page cache so what w3 total cache does it not just even serve the database cache from the ram it also serve the page cache from the ram that's a different topic we're going to cover that topic some different day but today just to keep things simple we're going to stick for database cache so we're going to scroll the page and then we'll find this option object cache in object cache they're going to ask for the method and then from drop down we're not going to choose disk remember this is sd or hard drive but we want to access this database much much faster so from this drop down we're going to choose the redis option here and then save all settings one more thing guys really really important before doing anything on your website you need to create a staging website first you do all these things on a staging website then only you implement these things on live website and even before doing anything on live website you should create a backup so if anything goes bad you can recover your website from the backup and also there is a plugin for redis cache just go to add plugins and then search this plugin redis and like redis there is another cache exists which is called memcache sometimes redis is not available on all the hostings so if redis is not available on your hosting we have memcache which is widely available in most of the hosting if you want to know how you can implement memcache on your website check out this video on screen and guys if you like the video you got some value out of it don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i create this unique content which you will not find anywhere else and all this content comes to you free of cost without wasting any of your time no blah 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 just knowledge so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you want to create a free blog website check out this video on screen